Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Come on, somebody, give him glory, give him glory, give him glory. You know, um, one of the things that the Lord was talking to me about recently is we have to push. The enemy, you know, push stands for push until something happens. I'm talking about something good. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So I'm going to stick at my um, title, but God was just telling me to encourage them. Can I tell you something? This is testing time. And I've said this over and over again, and I will say it again. This is testing time. God is testing everybody and every everything. Just to be honest with you, that's why you're seeing so much exposure. And that's why the pressure, oh, come on, somebody, he applying pressure. He allowing pressure to be applied because guess what? It's only through that pressure we're going to find out who you really are. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, because you need to know who you are. You need to know what you possess, what you're called to do. I'm going to tell you what's wrong. A lot of people, especially that say they're Christians, can't take no pressure. When you are really anointed, there will be pressure applied. Somebody write that in the comments. There will be pressure applied, I promise you. That was one of the things that tried to deter me from being who I am today. It was a lot. I was like, ooh, this is a lot of warfare. And God says, the only way that you can combat it is to come up. Come on, somebody. That's why he says, come up higher, come up higher. It's not for you to think that you're all that and a bag of chips. It's that the level of warfare is the level of anointing that you would need to succeed. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Ain't nobody playing. Y'all sitting up there. And I'm going to be honest with you. People will think, ooh, that's good, God. I hear your Holy Spirit. People are think something is wrong with you or that it's out of order. Ooh, y'all don't understand what I'm saying. It'll look out of order, but really it is warfare. It is testing. God is going to see. I wonder if I allow the devil to create a scenario. Will they stop? Will they give up or will they push through? That's for somebody. Hallelujah. Because I'm going to be honest with you. Most people can't, they don't like the power pressure. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Because it's going to two things. It's going to do two things. It's going to back you up. Oh, he's going to tell you, you're going to look the devil's date in the face and say, that's all you got. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I feel the power of God up in here. Now, that was for somebody because my title is Human Trafficking Safety Game. One of the things that is really is, is getting to me. And what I mean by that is, is becoming something that I hear the Lord speak about. People, you have to start praying over your home. You got to start praying over your children before they go to school. Oh, oh, I'm about to get you. You're about to pray over that school. If you got to drop them, if you got to go there, you need to walk around that school. What you doing? I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> Hallelujah. But it's going to be something. You guys are not doing that. You're you going to have to apply pressure. Oh, come on, somebody. There it goes again. The enemy is applying pressure. Where you ain't, where you at, Remnant? It's time for you to apply pressure. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. By the power of the Holy Ghost, let me tell you something. Let me get this Bible. Where's my Bible? What's on? Oh, again, whatever. Let me tell you something. Everybody in that Bible, miracles. You know why? They applied pressure. They got on their face, Esther. Everybody fast for three days. I'm talking about even the animals. You don't hear what I'm saying. Moses, that's how he spit the Red Sea. Every miracle was done because there was a problem. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Do you have a problem today? Mm, hallelujah. We got a problem. Satan is taking our kids. Satan is taking our adults. Satan is trying to kill everybody. Satan is trying to steal. Satan is trying to molest people. Satan is trying to rob people. Satan is trying to do this and that and that and that. And we are not applying pressure, said the Lord. So I want to tell you about a game that I want you to play with your children. And I want you to, I, I want you to pass this video to everybody that you know have a child or even an adult. I'm going to be honest with you because what I'm going to try to do is get a group of people and play it as well. All right. So what's happening is, number one, you're not watching your surroundings. First of all, prophets, that's all we do. That, they call us seers because we're watching. I watch everything. I can tell you. I can go in a room and I promise you I'll pay in that room and I can tell you. And that's the game I want y'all to play. It's a safety game. I want you to put a chair in the middle of a room and I want you to put so much stuff in the room and, and with your kids and with adults. And I want you to blindfold them for about five minutes because that's how critical it is. You see, you, you remember I told you I have FBI experience back in the day where well, it takes two minutes. It takes two minutes before they take you and they cover your face, maybe a minute. So you don't have a, a whole lot of time, which I rebuke all this, but we got to go here. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I want you to put somebody in the middle, put them in the chair, blindfold them. 
But before you blindfold them, give them at least two to five minutes and say, I want you to pan the room. And, and I want you to pan it in detail. And just, and then go ahead, blindfold them. And then ask them what they see blindfolded. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You got to understand because it will save people's life. Not only that, stop being on your phones in public. It's not that. Most of you, all you doing, look, look, look. Somebody can come behind you so cool, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus. It's too much human trafficking. It's too much. Your children, your children, you got to tell them, quit walking with the head down. I see them when I'm riding or driving somewhere, we got the head down. Somebody can just, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus. Come on, it's too much. It's too much because you are not, and I know you don't want to scare them. You're not going to scare them because here's the deal. The Bible says that we perish for lack of knowledge. It is time for you. This war time. This war time. That's why, thank you, Jesus. I'll start being on the radio this Saturday. It's called War Time for a Reason. It's war time. Y'all sitting up there playing games. This is not the time to look cute, honey. I am sorry. There are too many people dying. There's too many people getting stolen. It is just too much going on. That's because the saints want to vacay and y'all want to look blessed and all this other stuff. But you ain't warring. You're not on your face praying. You're not giving shut ins. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Anybody playing? And the ones that do do it, oh, they're crazy. Well, call me crazy, but guess what? I'm crazy blessed. Hallelujah. It's getting on my nerve, to be told. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So God says that it's time to implement plans, have things, and, and even, okay, I'm going to start talking more about martial law, everything. I mean, it's so much. I'm so full. I hear God prepare, prepare, prepare. Women, and, and I'm looking for a building right now. I am probably going to start giving because you see, I know y'all didn't think so. Don't let the, um, don't let the, uh, how can I say the thickness fool you? Oh girl, got some, um, I got some skills. And so here in Augusta, Georgia, I'm probably going to start a safety class for women. Oh yes. You, you really don't, I mean, you, you want a weapon sometimes, let's be honest, but if somebody get close to you, I'm going to show you how to do what you got to do. Y'all think it's a game? I don't care how big and old they are, young, whatever. You will lay them on their butt, and I'm sorry. I'm talking. I'm talking safety. So I'm not trying to be derogatory, but this is real. It's too many. It's too many women getting stolen. I, I'm gonna teach you. Somebody come from behind you. What to do? You can't panic. You gotta have a strong mind. See, that's what's happening. We have been desynthesized to where television and all this stuff. Y'all think that's entertainment? Them people showing you what they're doing. And y'all sitting up there talking. About, Ooh, why they doing all that stuff? No, the devil's a lie. You better learn some things. I couldn't understand why my life went the way it went. Now I do. Everything that I ever learned, even when I wasn't saved, it was for this moment, this time. Hallelujah to his name. Hallelujah. And I'm not glorifying anything derogatory. I'm saying it's time for us to, to, to apply pressure. It's time for you to have safety measures. Get you some pepper spray, whatever the case may be. Whatever God tells you to get. How about that? Because I want nobody to say, ah, oh, she's promoting violence. <laughs> the kingdom of God suffer violence and the violence take it by force. What? <laughs> Anybody crazy? What? <laughs> I know I'll be on one. That's the Holy Ghost. That's the Holy Ghost. So that's what I got on here to say. Um, I am so glad about the classes. Um, we have we have uh, prevented the little quirks and quirks but i think i hope we still had a good time which we did you know god is good it's about pushing through pushing through so this prophetic class woo, i feel that thing i'm telling you let me tell you something who i won't couldn't even share this oh god be making me share everything okay i was in the store today and, and this has never happened maybe that's why i'm supposed to share i am getting so induced with the holy ghost somebody walked by me i'm not gonna say because I don't want nobody to say I'm attacking a certain group, but let the spirit lead you. And my spirit, I jerked like twice. And you know, I it wasn't even me, my body jerked. And so I ain't gonna lie, I kind of, I said, cause everybody was watching, they saw me jerk. I said, God, what is that? He said, you're getting so pure into when sin walked by, especially that level of sin, the Holy Ghost want to say something and do something, but not now. I'm telling you, my body literally jerked. I was like, and, and it wasn't a, a derogatory. It wasn't a um, promiscuous jerk. It wasn't provocative. It was It was like I was catching the Holy Ghost. I say, I had no knowledge it did it. I was like, okay, God, you're doing something, which I told y'all. I've been fasting and, again, not glorifying. 
I'm a forward and I'm trying to show you how to do this thing. If we don't, if we don't fast, we won't last. God wonder why some of you are way down. You wonder why you're tired. You wonder why you're crying. You wonder why this is going on. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. There's a balance in life. That's why I even push the plate back. Come on, somebody. I'm not just on no diet. I am training for war. This ain't no game. I don't know about you. But if you truly love God, he said, well, follow my commandments. Follow me. Hallelujah. Obey my commandments. This is real. People need us. Everything that's inside of you, the anointing is not for you. It is your assignment and God is a mandate. And you got to go and free God's people. He say, set the captives free. Hallelujah. Fill up our God. Do your job. All right. Let me get up out of here. God bless you. God keep you. I pray y'all play that game because I'm serious. I'm going to find Well, I don't have to find what I want. I do want a lot of people to play. And if you got to do it two or three times, Sharpen your skills in this hour. Sharpen your skills. Get in shape. I'm not kidding. We talking about New World Order because, ooh, I'm going here. I don't even know why God got me going here. I guess it's part of the thing. All that stuff that's happening with these killings. Oh, Lord, I knew he was going to make me say it. And I don't care if you believe me or not. Some of them are false flags. They need that gun law to drop. It's going to be some more so-called killing. If they drop that gun law, which they're going to do, I promise you, after that, take the guns is martial law. Some of you have not wrapped it around your mind because you, I don't talk about that. I don't, whatever. But prepare your mind and your, and your family while y'all sitting up there playing games. Because one thing I've noticed about people, you know what's going on. You know what's to come, but you try to push it back. You want to live in a fantasy world. No, baby. We can't live in no fantasy world. This is real. Prepare, said the Lord. Them people not playing. These people have, they've been planning this since the 1600s. And you really think that they're going to let us stop them? New world order is real. The matrix is real. Hunger Games is real. Why do you think they're doing all that? With the, I bet you most major cities right now, you're under construction, huh? Some kind of just construction. Y'all think they just brought in the city. These people are making ways for everything when this stuff Y'all just don't know what I see. Hallelujah to his name. Just be strong. That's all I can tell you. And stop playing. Stop playing in this hour. It's not to put you in fear. It's to put you in faith. Hallelujah to his name. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.